Alright you guys, it's Dragathon and I'm back here with another tutorial. And I'm really excited today because we're going to get in the real meat and potatoes. Alright, we're going to be... Uh, what are we going to be doing? Oh, right, we're going to be, uh, you know, learning to select how to uh, make highlight these things when you hover over them. So there's going to be a little outline around them. Alright. So, let's come on over here um, into our draw event on the object choose, which is over here. Oh, I should probably click OK to make sure that that gets named object choose. And then reopen this, close the silly little compiler thingy. Blah, 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 blah. All right, now click execute code, come back in here, and we're going to be drawing rectangles today. Um, but before we draw the rectangle, we need to check the position of the mouse cursor. Uh, when it's over the icons, I can just show you over here. Uh, I'll close that. All right. So over here, we click this, and then all right. So when it's over the uh, the the sprite that you want to be highlighted it's going to draw a rectangle so we need to check if it is between the uh, starting coordinates and the ending coordinates of each one of these sprites then you draw a rectangle around that specific sprite so let's go ahead and do that now hmm, excuse me kind of burpy today alright uh, Alright, if, this is an if statement, if, whatever this is, then do this, Oop. whatever is inside of these braces. So, first you type if, and then we're going to be checking the x coordinate of the mouse, so mouse underscore x, Game Maker has a nice pre-made variable for us. So if mouse x is greater than or equal to the x coordinate of this sprite, so x, and if mouse x is less than the maximum, uh, the maximum size of the sprite, which is the sprite is 32. So we want 32 minus 1, so 31, because the first pixel of the uh, sprite is actually known is actually uh, labeled 0. So similar to what we had to do here with the subimage. <clears throat> the first pixel is actually 0. So you take the sprite size and subtract 1 from it. So 31. And then we're going to do another and mouse because we need to do the same thing for the mouse y. So if mouse y is greater than or equal to 0, and mouse y is less than uh, 30... Oh wait, actually this needs to be y plus 31. I forgot that. Because it's 31 pixels relative to the y coordinate. Um, also, to demonstrate the purpose of the semicolons, uh, we can go ahead and push enter here in between the uh, and and the uh, y plus 31, which is actually supposed to be an x. <laughs> Alright, um, because we don't have a semicolon here, it will actually treat this as one command, because it is one command, but... I'm just demonstrating that in Game Maker, when you hit enter, that doesn't automatically tell it, okay, I'm I need to do this line and then do the next line. It's simply just it's treating these as one command. It's like, okay, here's this line, and then it continues on to the next line. That way you can keep from having like commands that go all the way out to here and then scroll over you can just hit enter a couple times and it'll be all right okay 
So now we got that out of the way. Uh, what are we going to be doing if these conditions are met? If these conditions are met, we want to draw a rectangle. So draw underscore rectangle. L-E. And then a parenthesis. Oh, I can't even see what I'm typing. All right. Then a parenthesis. And then we're going to do the X coordinate, which in this case is X. And then Y. And then the second X coordinate, which is X plus 31. And the Y coordinate, which is Y plus 31. And then outline, we want to set to 1 because 1 means true. And 0 would be false. So we want the outline to be true because we want it to just be an outline. We don't want it to be a giant black box over the sprite. All right. And that should be all it takes for that to work on the rock sprite. So let's go ahead and click the check mark. And then come up here and click the uh, green triangle to go ahead and play. And as you can see, when we hover over the rock sprite, it does in fact draw a rectangle. However, it looks like it draws it only for the x coordinate. So we're gonna we're gonna have to set some limits on the y. I need to figure out what I did wrong. Oh. That should be, this zero needs to be a Y instead of a zero. That was my fault. All right. And there we go. Now it works. So it looks like it is going away um, if as, as soon as we exit the sprite in any direction. So that's good. That's, that's what we were wanting. That's what we were looking for. Okay. So now we can just go ahead and copy and paste this code for these uh, other two sprites here. And all we have to do is simply <clears throat> change the dimensions around a bit. So if this is greater than x plus 32, because this is the next sprite, which is one pixel under the previous sprite, <coughs> Actually, that's wrong. We don't have to change the X. We have to change the Y. So plus 32 there. And then 32 plus 32 is 64. Minus 1 is 63. And then we just use those same things in here. This is 63. And this one gains a plus 31. 32 okay and then down here we do the same thing except this is going to be plus 64 <coughs> man I got something in my throat and then this is going to be 64 plus 32 which is 96 minus 1 which is 95 so y plus 95 same thing here 64 and 95. All right, now if we did everything correctly, then the other two sprites also should be highlighted when we hover over them. And as you can see, it looks like it did work. All right, so now we have it set up to where uh, you, you as a player know when you are hovering over the sprite that you want to select. So that's it for today, and in the next video, I'm going to try to get into arrays and how those work. Um, and we'll probably have to do some interface design too. So the next video is either going to be interface or uh, getting into arrays. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll just see how much time I end up with. But that's it for today. And I'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.